They've been ducking us all season. But finally today, we've got that elusive Chelsea game in today's episode of Chasing the Fortune. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is, of course, me, TaylorMade Gaming. And today, we have got a massive game of football because, finally, we are playing against Chelsea. It is the 20th of March, but this is our first league game against Chelsea of the season. They have been running scared of us all season long but they cannot run anymore. So we've got that game coming up for you in a little bit. But just before we do get into the game and get into catching you up on what has been going on since we've last been together, I've got two little bits I just want to say to you guys. First up is sorry for the lack of videos last week. But as you probably know, there was a heat wave here in the UK and it was baking in this room. It was just way too hot to be sitting and recording. So that's why I only had the one video out last week. That one for the mad scientist and his new database. So yeah, sorry about that. But it's all a little bit cooler now. So we're going to be back to somewhat of a decent schedule. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And also, number two is I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to all of you. Everyone that's ever watched a single video of mine. Because today, as we're recording this, we have blasted past the 700 subscriber mark absolutely phenomenal numbers much much bigger numbers than what i thought i would ever ever hit when i started youtube so thank you so so much i went to bed last night with us on 693 i wake up this morning we're on 699 and you're thinking what on earth's gone on there but then, obviously, as you do, put a tweet out saying, who wants to be the special one? Put me on 700. And before I knew it, I was on 704. So, yeah, phenomenal day. I've had a very, very good day. And it's been my other half's birthday. So, yeah, phenomenal day here at Taylor May Towers. Taylor May Towers? TMT? Yeah, I like that name. That's the name we're going with from now on for the HQ here. And so, yep, just wanted to say thank you for all of that. And now, why don't I go and catch you up on what's been going on since we have last been together? You was last with me for the game against Tottenham Hotspur at the end of January. As you all know, we drew that one one apiece. But then after that, we had a phenomenally crazy February. I think you can say, because we went unbeaten during the whole month. But look at some of these scores. 6-4 against Fulham. That was a mad game. I think we was like 5-1 up at half time. And then they managed to almost get back into it. But 6-4, De Canio getting two, Carrick getting one, Defoe getting a hat-trick, including two in a minute. So... Yeah, phenomenal performance from Defoe. And then we followed that up with another mental game. 4-3 against Blackburn. Georgie Kinkladze scoring. And then Carrick, Di Canio and Defoe scoring as well. After we had gone 3-1 down. So, yep, phenomenal turnaround there. Defoe in the 96th minute. Oh, what a relief that was. But then after that, we drew our next two. 1-1 one, one against Newcastle. Future West Ham man, Kieran Dyer, scoring against us. But that Italian magician, Di Canio, scoring first. Then we had a boring 0-0 against Everton. But then we got back to exciting football. With a 5-1 win against Aston Villa, we won the Claret and Blue derby on that occasion. 
Again, De Canio with two, Defoe with one, King Kladji stealing the show with two goals there. And then after that, we had another 4-3 game, this time against Middlesbrough. And you can see just how many late goals there were. Pochettino scored in the 72nd minute, but Jonathan Greening scored in the 87th and the 94th minute just to give us a little bit of a scare, but we was able to hold on to make it six unbeaten. But then our run did came to an end. Muzzy is its goal was not enough to stop one of the original championship manager wonder kids, Robbie Keane, from scoring a brace either side of his goal to give Leeds a 2-1 win. But, all in all, it's been very, very good since we've last been together. Let's go and have a look and see what that is doing for the league table. Before we start today's game, we are fifth in the league. You can see it there. We're six points behind Leeds United and we're, what, 12 points behind today's opponents, Chelsea so a win today would just about keep us in the Champions League race. It would be very, very nice not only to get the local bragging rights, but also to get the win and to keep us in that Champions League race. And so now I've got something a little bit special to show you. So we go and have a look and see about see what team we've picked for today's game. You're gonna like this. In goal, we've got David James. In the defence, we've got Scott Minto, Christian Daly, Maurizio Pochettino and Rigobert Song on the right-hand side. In the midfield, we've got Kim Colston moving across to the box-to-box -box midfield role. Nalberto Solano is our advanced playmaker. Michael Carrick is the ball-winning midfielder. And then up front, it is that familiar three. Joe Cole makes his return to the starting lineup on the left hand side. De Canio's on the right. And of course, Jermaine Defoe, who is now on 20 goals for the season, is starting up front as our pressing forward for today's game against Chelsea. Okay, here we are in the dressing room. And I'm going to go pump my fists and we're going to say, we've got nothing to lose here. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that. That's got a few people motivated, but not as many as I would like. So we're going to do the usual. Let's see if that works. It looks like it is. And so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players motivated. I'm happy with that result. And so, what are we going to predict for today's game against Chelsea? I'm going to go 2 1 win us. 2 1 win for us. Come on, you irons. Half an hour in, we finally got the first highlight of the game. Rigobert's song with it. He crosses it into the box. A young John Terry heads it away. But Kim Calstron should be the first to get this. And he is. Pochettino goes long with it. And they get it away again. But again, only as far as Pochettino, who is already on a yellow card. He goes all the way back to David James. David James with it. He goes into the centre of the pitch, back to Pochettino. Christian Daly goes long and Johnson heads it forward. Emmanuel Petit to big fat Frank Lampard. Forward to Di Matteo. Into Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Di Matteo again. He's coming forward at our defence. He's gone for a shot early. And oh, decent save there from James. Oh, Solano with a free kick for us now.
Cudicini now with the ball. What is he going to do with it? He goes to the edge of his area. He goes long. And Hasselbank flicks it on to nobody. And David James collects it calmly there. Can we please get something decent happening here? James again goes long. And again it gets headed forward. But Scott Minto beats Jesper Groncha to the ball. And Scott Minto coming down the left. He's got a chance here. Scott Minto. He crosses the ball in. Defoe! 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 Defoe with his 21st of the season gives us the lead against Chelsea. What a nice goal that was. All made by Scott Minto's run down the left-hand side. And look at this for a low cross. Oh, pinpoint. Pinpoint right onto Defoe's toe. Come on! Now, just a couple of minutes later, we've got the ball again. Solano's gone over the top. Callstrom to Di Canio. Defoe's beaten his man. Defoe, it's 2 0. It's 2 0 to the Amers. We are destroying Chelsea here. Defoe with his 22nd of the season now. What a performance he is having. And look at his pass from Di Canio. Just cleverly making it easy for Defoe to get away from his defender. Come on! Well, well, well. That is the half-time whistle. We are 2-0 up against Chelsea. Phenomenal performance, this. But looking at the stats, it should be much more even than it is. We have had six shots to their five. Four on target, two there, two. Their XG is only 0.28 though, whereas ours is 0.84. We've had 53% of the ball. So yeah, Defoe is the difference between the two teams. Let's go hands on hips and I'm going to go, I'm very happy. And everyone's inspired and motivated, which is what you want to see. So let's go and get into the second half and see if we can hold on. Ten minutes into the second half, Jimmy Hasselbank's got a free kick. And he goes for the shot and it's in the back of the net. That's Jimmy Hasselbank's 29th of the season. Wow, what a phenomenal return he's had this year. And well, he grabs the ball immediately as we're seeing the replay. He runs straight back to the centre circle. Please don't let us throw this away. 63 minutes into the game. David James with a free kick, or with a goal kick even, and that's poor. That's only gone to Marcel Desailly. Hasselbank with a shot and it's 2-2. Oh, just like Defoe did in the first half. With scoring two in not much time. Hasselbank has done the same and got his 30th of the season. But that all came from that poor goal kick. Say Gibbons not been that good since we signed him. But after this performance, he might be getting back into the team. OK, following those goals, we've made two substitutions. Oh, no. Oh, I should have paused. I should have paused. As I was making the subs, Jimmy Hasselbank has got his hat trick. Oh no. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Their keeper went long. Melchior nodded it down for Di Matteo and Hasselbank got in behind the defence. And oh, that's poor. That's poor from the whole team. Now I'm going to pause and make some changes. Okay, so we're still only making two changes, but we are also changing the formation. We've gone to a 4-2-4. Freddie Canuti has come on for Michael Carrick, and Georgie Kinkladji has come on for Joe Cole. Joe Cole has done nothing in his first match back from injury. Slightly disappointing, but hopefully he will improve again in the coming weeks. And we're going to go attacking as well. And then we're going to go confirm the changes and see if that does anything in this last 20 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes left to go now. 
we've made a few other changes. We're pumping the ball long over their defence, trying to get it to Defoe and Canuti. And John Moncur has come on for Alberto Solano, who is just spent. Please, 10 minutes left. We had this in the bag. Oh, and it's worked. It's worked immediately. We have gone free, free level with Chelsea. Paolo Di Canio with a corner right onto Kinkladji's head. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Simplest goal anyone will ever score. Even I could have scored that. And oh, if we think our game's mad, I've just spotted Sunderland Bolton for all. What a mad day of football. But now we've got the ball back here at Upton Park. Song goes all the way back to David James. James goes long. Desai heads away. Di Matteo coming at our defence through to Hasselbank. Hasselbank to Jesper Gronkja. His shot is blocked but only goes as far as Graham Lisso. And now Melchior, Desai, Gallas, William Gallas of all people has scored. What? Oh my days. What a welcome back to making videos. Seven goals in one game. And we're not done yet. Please tell me we're not done yet. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a game of football. 4 3 we have lost to Chelsea after being 2 0 up at half time. Just wowzers. What a game of football. We wasn't expecting to get anything before the game, but being 2 0 up, we got our hopes up. And as ever, being a West Ham fan, it's the hope that kills you. But let's have a look at the match stats before we go. Nine shots, we had to their 15. Five on target to their nine. 1.08 XG to their 1.22. And they ended up having a little bit more of the possession. 51 to 49. Let's go into the dressing room. And I'm going to go unlucky, boys. I think that's what we're going to say. Yep, everyone's inspired and motivated. Let's go and see where we are in the league now and then when we're going to come back for the next episode. OK, so that leaves us in fifth in the table as things stand. Still six points behind Leeds. They must have lost as well today. But, but now, yeah, 12 points behind Arsenal. That win has put Chelsea top of the table. It's very, very tight between that top three. It's going to be an interesting run-in. But yet, we are fifth. So, still having a very, very good season. And let's see, when are we going to come back? Oh, we haven't got that many games left. When shall we come back? I quite fancy Sunderland. Have we played Arsenal already in this series? We must have done. I can't remember. I'll check. If we haven't played Arsenal, it'll be Arsenal. But if we have, it'll be Sunderland. So, yep, guys, that is all for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, not only pop a massive thumbs up down below. I'm going to do that again because my camera has just frozen. Pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content and a whole lot of other stuff. And as well, Thursday, 4pm, the Unbelievable Streams podcast. Your boy's on it. I am on the Unbelievable Streams podcast this Thursday at 4 o'clock. Go and check it out. It was a lot of fun. It was a barrel of laughs. You will enjoy listening to it or watching it, whatever you choose to do. So, yep, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMadeGaming, and I shall see you next time.